What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? How are you guys doing today? Today, another special episode, the Halloween week episode of the podcast. I am here, the host, Sammy. How you doing, Sammy? Oh, hey. Hey, how are you? Doing good? Welcome. Doing good. We have a special guest today. Uh, this is Tristan. And Tristan, I don't think you realize the latter butterfly effect you caused with all the channels that have started popping up, man. <laughs> Dude, it's so funny um, because, you know, I hear that all the time uh, from other people. It never has been directed towards me. Uh, and it was always weird because when I started making videos and like I was 14 when I made them, and I didn't know that I was going to have some type of impact or inspire someone else like yourself to create something bigger, better, and make it something unique to yourself. You know, I never really thought that. I was just a kid that jumped on a webcam and talked about Halloween. <laughs> so when it just blew up and just started becoming things, it was like, it was really awesome. And I met so many great people out of it. And it was, it's really cool to know that, uh, I had an it, like ins inspiration um, to you or to other people as well. It's really cool. Definitely, man. I mean, you guys. I think you insp inspired TLEV from what they've told me. Um, That's so cool. <laughs> and they're they've blown up since. Um, yeah, and it's so funny because it's like the tables have flipped. It really has because you guys have inspired me to create content in different areas, not so much like Horror Nights or YouTube. And it's just so funny. I like watch all your guys' videos and like, you know, keep up to date. And it's hilarious on how it was the other way around a few years ago. So it's just funny how that works. <laughs> yeah, it was because it was a whole – and I remember talking uh, to your girlfriend Marissa about it when mm -hmm. we had her on the show. It was like a whole ladder effect. It was like you, then TLEV, then me. It was just a big thing, and um, it's insane how far it's come. It really is. Uh, I, I'm yeah, just happy to be where I'm at right now, uh, and you know, I, I like doing what I do. It, it's like you know, Good. a lot of people consider it work, but for me, it's like it's just a hobby. It's just I was the same way. I was like, I got an opinion yeah. about Horror Nights. Let me pick up a camera and talk about it. Yeah, yeah, and and um, it was crazy too because like. Um, I started before like my haunt stuff. I, I went to scary farm. That was like my thing. Um, I, my first year that I went, I was like so nine years old. Um, and I went and I was like freaking terrified, but, but I loved it. It was like a, it was so cool. And then years went on and I was hearing about horror nights popping off and it was just becoming bigger and bigger every year. And we always just kind of like, you, like Knott's was king at that point, you know? And then um, 2009 rolled around, and that's the year that we decided to go and try it out, uh, me and my family, and I loved it. And then I started to go as a fan, and then I started going and researching things online because I was watching YouTube videos, POVs, and then I was coming across, like, updating and, like, kids jumping on webcams and just, like, talking about this. I was like, dude, I could do this. And so I went in and did it, and I, <laughs> there's a video somewhere, if you look it up, because uh, I'm <laughs> so funny fact. I made a YouTube channel. Uh, and I forgot the password and the username. So I uploaded a video, dude, and it's still there to this day, and I don't know how to get it off. It's embarrassing. And if you type in HHM fan 16, you're going to see a little bald kid with a fucking leather jacket on just chilling there. <laughs> and look it up, dude, and it's so embarrassing. And I'm just like, dude, I want to get it off. Um, but, yeah, and it's just so funny, dude. And uh, But, yeah, it's, that's funny. Definitely, man. I mean, times have changed now, I guess, huh? Yeah, no, it's no longer like when I have when I used to update. It was, uh, you know, it was more just a casual conversation. And now, like, there's no really such thing as updating. It's more on like being a press company and building a company and being a news creditable like source of information. You know what I mean? And building an audience and and it's just different. It's a different time, you know. Yeah, I, I would agree that. You know, you look back on maybe a video that came out in 2010 about Horror Night. Right. Then you yeah. look at, like, what 2020 has become. There's a million people um, saturating the market. Uh, yeah. And everyone's competing. Not not so much friendly com competition, I would say, to be the sure. first one to break the news, first one to post a video, to have yeah. the most credible source. Um, that, and, and that's – go ahead, sorry. That's production value. You know, yeah. like, whether it be, you know – 
when you started on like a 480p like webcam like barely yeah. grainy you know what i mean to like the point where like <laughs> every one of those shooting. things were removed and my audio would be over here and my body would be over here or whatever you know? <laughs> it's just like, yeah what? So, yeah but, now uh, everyone has to shoot 1080p you gotta have your dslr yeah, 4k yeah. yeah dude well like a big big reason why i stopped doing it and 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 i think a lot of people wondered why um and i never ever talked about it unless you were like personally in my life and i actually knew you are we getting a world um, exclusive right now <laughs> yes you're gonna dun, 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 news <laughs> um why i stopped was uh i was a one-man show so understand this i was a 14 year old kid that grew a youtube channel for two years when i was 16 that's when it started to really start picking up and a lot of people were subscribing and commenting and following me on like all of these things and it started to start you know expanding and then um, it came to a point to where it was just so hard for me to do it. I was a one man show. So I did all the editing, all the filming, all the photography. Uh, I did all the trip planning. I did everything that that was on me. And then I was still working a full time job. So being able to have a team helps out, I'm sure, like you guys and like being able to like, hey, you do this one day, I do this the other day or whatever, you know. Definitely. Um, so I was a one man show and doing that. So that was a huge thing. And then, uh, I got hired at universal. Um, and I started off as a production assistant. So production assistant was like character host. So I was walking like Shrek and stuff around, which was fun <laughs> and yelling at people, not listening to me, you know, Shrek's this big guy walking around, You're like, Get out of way, bro. <laughs> you know, you know, you gotta be like the friendly universal PA, but deep down you just want to strangle these people. But anyways, um and so i did that for about a year um and then i went to harry potter transferred over to harry potter and did all that and then walking dead opened up and then i auditioned for walking dead and that's the year that i stopped doing videos because um i got word that hr was looking at my youtube channel um at universal and i got word through that and i was like oh it's probably nothing whatever but i was still updating somewhat and i released a video and did a speculation video and, and i nailed every single ip on that list without any leaks without any reading any forums i just had been doing it for so long you kind of just start guessing the ips you know how murdy works you know how the marketing works you just start kind of doing the puzzles and you pretty much can guess at least four or five of the properties that are going to be coming to the event but i ended up nailing every single one so they thought i was leaking stuff out and so I got scared and I just deleted the channel. Like I didn't, I didn't do any, I didn't archive anything. I just deleted it because I was so scared. I didn't want to lose my job at the time. And now I look back at it and I'm like, dude, I should have just lost that job. This, this would have been awesome. <laughs> yeah. So, and then I just kind of lost inspiration. And I think uh, I lost inspiration because just, you know, I was working and I was just doing my thing, man. But, but that was kind of a reason why I stopped and no one really knew about it. Yeah. It's really sad to hear, man, because yeah. I love to have you in the community still. I mean, I'm, you're still really involved, and I know you're... Uh, yeah, I tried to be. <laughs> you're, you're doing your, your own thing now, uh, Tristan's World. Uh, and, of course, you know, I mean, you, I, I get it. People get busy, so you're posting when you can. Obviously, a lot of the vacation stuff, and... Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, it, it's cool to still watch all that content and still Thanks, see that you're, you're still active you. uh, throughout... Thank you not only the the horror world but the 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 theme park world as well or just life in yeah. general so yeah it, it's i appreciate really cool that yeah to see all that um yeah so, more more active on marissa's channel <laughs> so because she yeah. does more vlogs than i do and i'm always just kind of popping in doing stupid stuff because i'm just an idiot so you know that's how that goes no yeah and uh I, no i mean <laughs> that was going to be one of the big questions i asked you is why you stopped it and, mm -hmm. and it, that was the whole reason i think a lot of people I don't even think TLV knew that story, so now everyone yeah, knows. Yeah, you know, there's there's much more to it as well, but um, that's kind of the sum up version. Um, you know, there there was just other like factors in my life, and uh, but also, I mean, I was I I stopped doing it because of those things because of my job at the time, but also then when I stopped, uh, I fell into kind of a weird place where I was just working nonstop and just kind of just figuring myself out because at that time I was 19 years old so I mean I was still trying to figure my life out and and I just fell into this like rapid just just keep going keep going and and just not even thinking about what I actually enjoyed and then uh what Sammy was saying earlier it's just becoming such a saturated thing you know uh and everyone's just trying to get the leaks out like 
Horror Nights news. I know the whole lineup. Let me leak it on a freaking forum and get, you know, all this, like, and to me, that just takes the fun out of updating. Cause like, if you watched my videos back then, I was that kid that would post five, six videos a week and trying to crack these code names. And some of these ideas were so bizarre, dude. I was just pulling shit out of my ass. I was like, oh, cotton candy. It must be this. You know, I was just Googling shit. <laughs> and it's just not the same anymore. It's just not the same. And that's what I enjoyed. And that's why I enjoyed doing videos was because it was a different time. And, uh, and that's just that, yeah. Just that's just how that goes. I, no, I definitely agree on that because it is a very different world as mm -hmm. far as updating and everything. It, it, and Sammy yeah. is right; it's all about who has the the most reliable source, who has this, right. who has that. Right. And no, I do miss back in the day when, you know, when I first started, it was about. All right, let's let's see what these tweets mean. Let's break down these tweets right. and all that. And, right. and that, that was a lot of the early HHN videos I remember making was. Of course. Oh, Murdy dropped this tweet. He's given all these details about what what he right. just announced, and it was fun doing right. that. Now yeah. you have people that will, um, you know, various sources will leak di different things, wow. and as time goes on, stuff changes, and it's just like yep. everyone's racing to talk about that. Um, yeah, and, and it just takes the fun out of it, though, because, like, the whole point is is not to leak everything. It's coming to a community, right? Like, you you want to come in and you make a video to expand the horizon, to reach out to people, to start conversation, right? You want to be able to discuss with people. They leave a comment or they follow you on your Instagram. You're messaging them. You want to have a discussion. You want an engagement. Now, it's literally... I write out the whole lineup, post it to Twitter or post it to a forum. And now everyone knows what it is. And, you know, and it's just, it's just not fun, man. It, it just, for me, it just was not fun anymore. No, I, I completely uh, agree, man. It's, it's, and, it's like that now. And now if you really want to do some type of theme park, uh, you know, a channel or some type of, cause at the end of the day, you have to make it into a company. You have to make it into something that you can start getting press. You can start getting access to events to be able to be that channel that gets the stuff out first. Right. That's the only way you can do it, but you're doing it in a right way. You're not doing it in a, you know, a harmful, like just way that it's just like, built on like toxic energy you know what i mean you're, you're doing it the right way and for someone who's doing it the right way you need a team you know you gotta you gotta have someone you know and it was very hard dude uh driving you know and i don't live like in la at the time uh i was living in i don't know if you're familiar with this area but yucca valley uh mm. near 29 palms yeah. and so i was driving and i was doing construction videos like four or five weeks so i was driving to universal <laughs> it's like two and a half hours dude oh my god and i'm whipping through traffic you know zip it through trying to get this video out and then go back do the same thing edit it all up so dude it was just a lot for me it really was yeah i definitely agree though like it, it does take a, a toll especially um not just mentally and physically but even financially, if you want to be covering the theme parks, um, you have to have a season pass to all the parks. Yeah, um, they hold they host a special event. You have to dip right. out the money for that. Um, right. And or like, let's just say you want to do a construction update, and you have to drive there, so that's gas. If you don't have right. parking on your annual pass, that's parking. Yep. If, right. if you want to eat or drink something while you're there, that's another fee. Yeah. Um, so I, I definitely agree. It can get really expensive. Um, mm -hmm. Just you know to be able to provide the content. Um, right, and in order to obviously succeed, you need to be able to provide content at, at the end of the right. day. Um, one thing I'm yeah. curious about is, oh, mm -hmm. what did you do in The Walking Dead? Oh, so um, I was one of the walkers. Uh, so I was one of the walkers at the very end of The Walking Dead attraction. Um, I was in the cages. So if you're if you're walking down the hallway, I was on the right side. So you had a left one with like all of the ones where she can. There's usually a girl inside that one as a female with like the the yellow hair if you guys could tell and then there was one to the right and then you go through the curtain and then you have that final scare at the end so i was the one on the right hand side across from the uh, female walker um so i was stuck in a cage and that kind of sucked i just couldn't really do much and i was just shaking the cage like let me out i felt like i was a freaking prisoner dude it was it was fun while it lasted and then um i uh left that and then tried some other work and you know where i am where i am right now so yeah, it, it like I you know it that sounds, I mean I miss that attraction. Not a lot of people do, and it was fun. I I, I there was always people talking shit about it because I think Murdy in the beginning promised that it would change, 
with the, the with the seasons coming, but I was like, yeah. listen, it's it is what it is. I I enjoyed it, and now it's gone. Everybody misses it all of a sudden. It's like, well, yeah, because go ahead, sorry. Uh, it was just more like, I mean, you know, when when Horror Nights would come around, mm-hmm. you know, I mean, like everybody was like, you know, what's the point of going through that? It's the same thing all year and all that. And I'm like, yeah, it's true, but I, I feel yeah. for me, I feel somewhat incomplete if I didn't do it like my first night or my last night just because sure. I want to try to hit everything and, and do everything. And of I course. know it's here year round, but it's got a different vibe at night for me, even though it's all indoors, like it's got a different vibe for me. So, no, and I think what it honestly is, is because we just love Halloween horror nights and we, and being there just makes us happy. So anything that a performer's jumping out at me, doing their job, scaring people or whatever it just makes us happy. So um, I totally understand what you're saying. And and I know it's fun fact about The Walking Dead, how they wanted to expand and do all of these things. At the end of the day, a lot of people don't realize that you can't just like wave a magic wand and that stuff happens. Like you have to have budget, you have to have the money like to even, uh, not even so much to get the expansion, but you have to pay the, the labor, you know, you have to get the vendors. Like there's so much more to it. It's just like, you can't just be like, Oh, yeah, we're expanding. Woohoo! It's you know, and unfortunately, uh, while I was working there, um, that attraction was rated kind of lower on the lower end because of the attendance. A lot of people just weren't going through it, and that's what happened with the House of Horrors, from my understanding and talking to people that used to work House of Horrors. That's the same reason why it left because just people just weren't going to the attraction, and they were end up they ended up paying more to the performers working the attraction versus the attendance that was flowing. So it was no longer a demand or a need. So that's why they scratched House of Horrors. They adapted to Walking Dead because it was popping and then it was gone. <laughs> so, yeah. No, I, I agree. Dead. I mean, it, it's one of those things where you walk through it and, it, you know, I like I said, I never had any complaints with it. I mean, mm-hmm. there was always the jokes that, oh, that's what fun. are they going to add for Horror Nights, a little bit extra zombies, more zombies than ever, you know? It's like, yeah, yeah, I mean, you can make the jokes and all that, but at the end of the day, as far as I am <laughs> concerned, I had a good time going through it every single time. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, it, it really shows that that closing day, there was actually a lot of people that showed up because they missed it. Of course. And they were going to of miss course. it. Um, and I can guarantee you if it came back to Horror Nights, it'd have a line for oh, people wanting dude. to go back through it. Of course, of course, it would be, uh, you know, it, it would definitely have its fan fan base for sure. It definitely would. And I think also, like, it's really cool, like, because I unfortunately wasn't able to go to the closing day, but it was really cool to look at pictures and videos of, like, various people. And it just looked like everyone just came together. Um, and it reminded me of when I was there for the closing of House of Horrors. Um, it was really cool. Like everyone just kind of came together. Everyone was just taking pictures, videos. It was just, it, yeah, it was pretty cool that like everyone can share the same bond over an attraction, you know, that just constantly is feeling like feeling memories and excitement. Um, and it's just really cool. Yeah, that was I think the, the same thing when Universal Monsters came. Everybody was just missing right. House of Horrors. And so Universal Monsters mm-hmm. was that like comeback of like, all right, right, this is this is dope. Hell yeah. I, I definitely agree. Um, speaking of favorite attractions, what is your yeah. favorite HHN maze of all time? Ooh, um, so for Hollywood in specific or Orlando or just in a whole? Let's do both. Whole. For oh, Fredo Los Dos. You asked. One <laughs> damn it. <laughs> no, you're putting me on the damn spot. All right, so um, if I had to pick – my favorite attraction, it would definitely be this is the N3D. I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. I was going to say, you know, that's that not bad. a bad no. maze. I actually No, it, it wasn't <laughs> that bad, but it was fun. But anyways, um, no, my honestly, my favorite one was La Llorona um, and in 2011. 2012 was great, but um, La Llorona was just, it was something so unique. And that was the first time I really was ever, I'll be honest with you. I did it. when it comes to like culture and like uh, folk t- like stories, dude. I have no idea. So when I heard about this, I was like, "What the heck is this?" So I googled it and I was like, "This is fucking terrifying, dude. <laughs> this is scary. No wonder people are terrified of this shit." And uh, so when and it was like definitely like still to this day, I think it was one of their more beautiful like designed houses, just from the facade to the ending, the characters, and just like it was a very well thought out attraction for sure. So that I definitely would say that was probably on my top like 
definitely one or two spot for Hollywood. So that was all and I then for that Orlando, was a, that was my debut yeah. year right there, man. Oh, really? That yep. was your first year? Yep. How fun. So I remember going through that maze just – and, you know, I'm Mexican. Sammy's Mexican, so we grew up sure. hearing that tale. Yeah. Then we – you know, I walked through the maze, and I'm like, this is terrifying because I know this tale. Right. And this is yeah. like – you know, you get told this growing up. And then yeah. come like 2000, what, 18, 19, they make a movie out of it, which – at some points, it's very terrifying and stuff, and it's just like, oh, my God. Like, this tale has just grown over the years. Dude, I just I just remember, like, when it happened, like, when, when it got announced, I was buying my tickets and uh, looking at the website and, the, like, the photo of La Llorona, like, just the image. I was like, dude, this is going to be scary, dude. And I just remember, like, looking it up because, you know, like, that was back then when Murdy would do behind the scenes, about, or it was called behind the screens, you know, so you would kind of see, like, cool, and it was cool, right? But I wanted to do more research, and I was like, I can't believe parents would tell their children this. I was like, dude, that's just, that's fucked up, dude. And, uh, but it was just so funny, and, uh, but then being able to, like, see also, like, as a fan, and would go back multiple times of the event. And seeing like how people would literally be so scared in line. People would be like, oh my God, I'm not going in here. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm like, ah, you'll be fine. And uh, so, yeah, that was that was definitely my uh, favorite favorite house for sure. Um, and now we're going to jump ships to Orlando. So uh, I've only been to Orlando or been going to Orlando since uh, 2015. So I've only been going for about five years. So, um, but my favorite house that I've experienced so far was in 2017 called, uh, Dead Waters. Uh, it was insane, dude. Um, they had this whole, like, uh, bayou that's like sunk down into like a swamp. And like, when you walk into it, you're like walking, it, it, it feels like you're walking sideways because they, they, they make it feel like you're, you know, your, your ship has sunk and just, dude, it was, it was a very short house, very short. But it was so beautiful. Like I've never seen uh like uh like a maze that detailed in my entire life. It was insane. I went with my friend Rally and we walked out of there and we were both like, What did we just see? We were like, did this just really happen? And we wanted to go back and do it again, but the line was so long. But we were like, screw it, we're doing it again because we were we just wanted to see it, man. It was awesome. So we waited and did it over again. It was just dude, it's awesome. Yeah, no, I, I, I think we did a, a show that we did on the channel, um, mm -hmm. East versus West, and we compared originals. Um, yeah. And he, my co host, Eddie, brought up Dead Waters, and oh, I had never so seen good. it, never heard of it. And I remember watching, so watch, yeah, I remember watching the walkthrough and just seeing the tilted boat right there and i was like oh my god that is so cool and then walking you know he's like yeah and even walking through it it felt like you were sideways and i was like mm -hmm. this is legit like i yeah. would love to go through this dude it, it was it, it was so cool and like there was like this like uh courtyard because you go through like this village and you're going through like this like courtyard and they have like this uh like well but they have like a body hanging over it and they're like roasting this like body and like and, and it was just chaos, dude. It was, like, very, like, voodoo, like, dark. And it was just, like, so cool, man. Um, and it was just so unique, you know. And I think that's why I really like Orlando's event is because they carry a lot of, like, original ideas. More They more focus towards a fan base that is on um, that coast because they, it's, been, it's been around longer than Horror Nights here, you know. Horror Nights in Hollywood is more, like, IP-based because we're the movie studio. We got all the connections. Or Orlando, they still do that, but they really focus on like building these, like their own like mazes that have series. I mean, these houses come back year after year, but in different, you know, variants and different ways. So it's like really cool there. Got the famous uh, Cary, Ohio over there, man. You can't go <laughs> wrong with that. That's did, right. <laughs> did, did my research on that. And much like uh, the MCU, this is a big shared universe in Horror Nights right here. So yeah. it's really fun. It's awesome. Uh Speaking of another event you saw was, you said at one time was King. Um, what year did you start going to Knott's? And what about your so favorite tracks was, from there? I was nine. Um, and it, it was, I believe, so, so for Not Scared From, so I was nine. I don't, what was that? I was in like uh, seven, 2007, 2008-ish. Okay. Um, and they they did um, the 13th, uh, 13th Max axe manor i think that's what it's called yeah. i don't remember the name of it but that was insane dude insane 
Um, and then, you know, as the time has gone on, it was keen because like my family grew up, like my parents, they grew up going to Scary Farm as probably most people grew up going to Scary Farm because that was like um, the haunt, the OG haunt in Southern California as a theme park, right? And uh, my family always just was like, just saying that it's always king and I was raised that way in a sense and then when Horror Nights came I was like yeah I know <laughs> Horror Nights is up there the Horror Nights took the chains of the king but yeah um but Scary Farm for me has always been awesome I've always just attended every single year and I've continued that but um the 13th Manor uh or 13th Axe Manor I think that's what it's called um yeah. that was that was crazy it was awesome. I mean, have you guys ever? You guys been to Scary Farm, of course. Yeah. But how long have you guys been going? I first year I ever went was two thousand eight. Um, okay. Lasted two hours. And <laughs> left. <laughs> I was scared. I think I was in the sixth grade, and I That's just couldn't, awesome. I couldn't do it, and I, I left. And then, um, the big redemption for me, going to another haunt was actually two thousand eleven Halloween Horror Nights, and I was like, okay. okay. I was like, I don't know how this is going to be. I've heard lots of terrifying things about this, so I'm not looking forward to it. Got into yeah. the gates, but then I remember leaving there, like, wanting more. And I was like, I want to yeah. do this every year. Like, this is fun. And 2012 came around. I was like, I want to go back. I want to do it again. Yeah. Uh, and that was the same year I returned. 2012 was the same year I returned to Knott's. And I went from 2012 cool. on. Um, sure. So I... Please. 2012, I believe, was their anniversary, right? It was like yeah, their 40th anniversary. The big, I'm pretty the sure. The witch and everything. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah but what yeah. about you, Sammy? Have you, have you, you've gone to Scary Farm, right? Yes, I have now gone to Scary Farm. I've gone in 19. Uh, my first year was 09. I made Ooh. it through um, Scary Farm in 09, but I was not eager to ever come back. Really? Um, yeah. Sir, did you oh, did you no. go through the? Do you know what I'm talking about? The 13th Axe Manor. Did you do you know which one I'm talking about? Yeah, I if don't you remember. remember. Yeah, I, I definitely I know the name. I'm very familiar with the name. Yeah, I, I don't, don't remember. I don't if that remember. Was there if it's, in okay, I don't. I don't. I don't know if it was 09 or what, but I just remember that was first year. So I'm really terrible with that. So I have to look do my little research. This is really bad, but. Now yeah. I'm going to get called a fake fan, all the trolls, and the, this guy's a fake fan. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I, I, I just don't remember the year, dude. <laughs> 2008, I was so terrified. I think I only went through one maze. Did the, Shit, did the mine funny. ride and did the log yeah. ride. Um, and that that's was at funny. the time they were still in the mine ride and the log ride. They were they actually had actors staring yeah. you. Yeah. So that yeah, was that. that. Um, I think that's it's all, like, go ahead, sorry. I was gonna say the only I think the only maze I remember going through in two thousand eight was uh the one that they had of the bumble cars, I think it was called Viva Las Vegas. Viva Las oh, Vegas. Yeah. yeah, and then they, they had uh they kept that location for a while and then become uh Day at Dia de los Muertos, the uh, Day of the Dead or whatever. That was cool. Yeah. Um but the Vegas one and then like uh a couple of like haunt, like scary farm ones was like uh Uncle Bobo's, but they had different variants. Do you remember the killer clown college? Do you guys remember that yeah, one? Yeah, I remember that. I, I remember seeing that. <laughs> Yeah, that one is that was interesting, and dude, Scary Farm is always a freaking fun time. It always is. It's always well, fun. I mean, they, the production value they put on their their mazes is just beautiful. Mm -hmm. I mean, and I know they reuse oh, yeah. them a couple times throughout the years, but yeah. they they always change and tweak little things and and make them right. s still feel Better. somewhat fresh, you know. And it's yeah, exactly. It, I think that's why they've made a name and and su succeed mm -hmm. for so many years because. Mm -hmm. They keep bringing back the properties that so many people love, um, and it's one. And this is a big thing in the HHN community, but it's they don't have a single black wall in their mazes. Right. Like they fill right. it detail from start to finish. Like they are really precise on that. I mean, I don't know if you yeah. went. You, I'm assuming you went last year. Um, origins. I did not. You did so, not go. So fact, you missed out on origins. So so hear me out. This is where it gets kind of uh, more truth comes out. Dun, dun. Um, dude, I have not gone to Horror Nights Hollywood in two years. And I have not gone to not Scary Farm. I didn't go last year, but I went the year before. The reason why is that I go to Horror Nights Orlando every year. And I try to make that happen every single year. And I every time I go to Horror Nights Orlando, and if I've ever gone the same year as Horror Nights Hollywood, I just don't feel the same and I'm not trying to bag on a Hollywood I'm not trying to throw it under the bus because I still enjoy it and it still is a great event but when you get to experience Orlando and then you realize just how much the production value and just how much more of 
an event that that you're going not so much scary but it's just like it's so much i don't know it i guess it's just in my opinion it's uh you have and i've had a better experience going to orlando than in hollywood and that's why i go back every year you know um in orlando but i did not go yet uh last year's scary farm and uh I, marissa went and marissa was like it was awesome oh my god she's dude. like you missed out man. i could speak for me you and sammy out. when i say origins is probably the most beautiful maze i've ever seen designed i watched the pov it looked pretty cool there was like uh like a rainstorm and it was like you're walking yeah. under like a yeah. Yeah, they, like, they legit will take, they took you back this was a big year because now we finally got to see the origins of how the witch became the witch, uh, which was, I think, been a fan question for so many years since they started doing the witch. Sure. So now coming sure. back, you got to see the entire story. I remember even uh, Sammy and I watching the, the live stream they did when they had their announcement event, and mm -hmm. it, it was a big thing when they showed that trailer. and. Yeah. You know, it's a whole theatrical thing of them about to hang Sarah Marshall, and they're 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 playing all the cases, and the, the whole mm -hmm. townsfolk are there. They're eager to see it, and you know, right when she's about to get hung, her eyes glow, and that's when her power comes out, and she How puts cool. the curse on on Calico. Now, this was How the fun. first year they tied in a maze, a scare zone, and the hanging show all in one. So oh, it was all one big cool. story. Um, so it's really for the fans, dude. That that yeah, sounds awesome. It, it was. Yeah. Probably I wish I could have gone. the best thing I've ever seen at that event ever. And that's really, really that's dang, really saying okay. a lot. I mean, and I've only been and there's probably been like I haven't been there's been probably better shit nineties, sure. early two thousands, but sure, sure. Uh, of course. I would say in our generation, this is yeah. probably the greatest thing I've seen in a long time. That's fuck. That's awesome. Damn, dude. I know Marissa went and I was supposed to go I was supposed to go with her, but um some stuff happened. I couldn't make it. Um, so she just went with her friends and she was just like, dude, you're missing out. And I, she made me feel jealous the whole night. It was making me feel like I was a loser for not going. She's like, ah, oh, you suck. You. I was like, screw you. I couldn't make it. Like, <laughs> you know, oh man, but it was great. Uh, but she, she, uh, I saw like a lot of video, like stuff that she filmed and stuff. And yeah, I looked awesome. Um, cause you guys went, you guys went last year, right. As like for the press and stuff. We didn't Were get you guys pressed, able to... but... Oh, okay, you guys didn't. Okay. We fucking practically went every single weekend, so... Yeah. <laughs> we were there at least three oh, yeah. times a week, so... Good, dude. Yeah, so you guys basically were pressed for them anyway, so... I know, we were, like, the unofficial... I mean, if you... I mean, <laughs> and that's the thing I always get question-wise. It's like, how come you don't attend Horror Nights more? And it's like, well, here's my situation. I'm about right. an hour drive away from Horror Nights, but right. I'm a ten-minute drive away from Knott's. There you go. So it's like I'm gonna buy the season pass to Knots because if I can't, if I just feel like going and not bringing a camera and just hanging out on a Thursday right. night after work, yeah, I'm gonna go right. check it out. You know, I'm just gonna go for right. a little bit, couple hours, sit there, chill. I uh, just right. got off work, so I just want to relax and maybe go yeah. through a maze or two and right. go home and come back and do it the next night. So yeah, and and uh, you know, it's funny though. Uh, uh, oh well, actually, I'll back that up. Uh, Sammy, like, is that kind? Of, well, cause Sammy, you were uh, for you. Are you able to attend like Scary Farm as much or no? Not really. So last year, yes. Now, last no. year, I live. I live in Arizona yeah. now. So right, yeah. I heard so uh, Marissa just... told me that. So I was like, oh dang! I was like, dang man, this guy's he's freaking dedicated. Look at him. <laughs> yeah, so it's um, a little bit of a drive now. Uh, I mean, yeah. I had planned the trip this year where, of course, I would have been in town. This weekend, I would have, I would have been in town two days as we're filming. Oh no! I would have been on a plane today, and we <laughs> oh, would have been at Nod. Man, here if, I am bringing the they, the bad news. My bad. <laughs> well, yeah. I, I didn't pay attention. Yeah. Yeah. But I would have yeah, either been at tonight. We would have either been at um, yeah. Dark Harbor or Nod. But obviously, so sad. We're gonna try to hit the big such... four all weekend. We was gonna be uh, yeah. Harbor, not okay. Uh, Horn oh, wow. and then Hayride because that was gonna be his weekend. So we were gonna try to do the big four. Man, you guys are we have a plan, freaking I, back to back to back. I am heading out to Arizona. Uh, at <laughs> good the first weekend in November. They have a good. event. Thirteenth floor actually puts on called Fear Farm. We're gonna go check oh, that shoot. out. He already been to it, but I I have not gone to it yet. I haven't yeah. seen anything on well, it yet. 
Well, I'm excited so. to see your coverage on it. Are you going to obviously cover it? You oh, better. Yeah. I'm going to try to do Good, it because I was about to play. Wise. I think it's the last weekend, yeah. so I don't think that. I'm like, you okay. guys shouldn't care at this point. It's the last weekend. Right. Just let me well, do that. You can film uh, the Okay, so yeah, yeah, there'll, no, there'll, yeah be, there'll be POVs. There'll be stuff. Good. I just found yeah, out yeah, that yeah, my, yeah. Uh, my, my, actually, my phone actually films better low light than my actual camera. <laughs> that's awesome dude dude that was another thing for me too speaking of that was like filming like as like someone who wasn't pressed because i never was ever pressed for horror nights um i always dreamt of doing that but i never thought it was possible i really didn't um and before you go further let I, me make you a promise then yeah <laughs> if we ever get press you're gonna be my plus one Woo! Dude, I sammy i can assume won't probably make it out I literally will cry. Oh, it could be I'm me, you, serious. and Sammy because that way you oh, can live dude, a dream. Be awesome. Yeah, and I'll be your guys' <laughs> camera guy, and you guys could be like the show, and I'll just be the bad. No I'm one will know. Boom, if take that, TLV. Look at Tristan's on our team. <laughs> What's good? <laughs> yeah, just jump on there, be, dude. I'm, that'd be awesome. But uh, no, that's that's great. But if you know, if it doesn't work out, it's okay. Don't worry about. It. But I'm still gonna hold you up, that <laughs> I'm keeping a promise on that, brother. You're getting, you're dude, getting that'd be, dude. That'd be so cool. Press at least but, once in your life. Dude, and so I always dreamt of it doing it, but it was so hard because, again, I'm the only guy. So, like, think about this. And this is what I thought about when I was, like, 16, 17. Going to the red carpet, interviewing people. How do I interview people with a camera and I'm vlogging like this, you know? Like, it's just going to look so unprofessional. No one's going to want to talk to me. No one's going to want to do that, right? And uh, I just I just never happened. But uh I just thought of that, like how cool it is that you guys are able to obtain that. Something uh, I messaged you about it. Uh, I left a comment on uh, the video of uh, Marissa's podcast when she was on here, and I left a comment was just talking about like how it's so cool to see like how you guys could take something that we all share in common, which is updating and staying in tune in the community of horror and stuff, but being able to actually produce content and get press and and create things that I never was able to do. And you guys are bringing that, you know, how you guys say that I inspired or what, whatnot, you guys are inspiring me, you know, and I think that is what's so cool. No, and, and it, it's, it, it, it was a big thing last year because um, Jeremy and Zach actually were the first people who gave us that opportunity to experience press. Um, That's cool. We, I think, and then the, immediately following that, after that, Queen Mary was like, yeah, you can come out to the press event. That'd be fun. And cool. so I was just super cool. stoked to get those that first uh, first year actually first year. trying to apply for it. And uh, yeah. so, I mean, I've said, I've said it time and time again, but I owe Jeremy and Zach like a huge, huge debt. I mean, so, just for doing that. So you <laughs> went out last year, right? I was out there last year for, for the media so, night at, at High So Street. do you know that I scared that night in their, their house? <laughs> I do now. Who 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 are you? <laughs> yeah. You probably saw me and my buddy so walking you, through the damn I, house oh, multiple I, times. I did. And you guys had the light. You guys had the light, and you're walking through. Yeah. Okay. So so I didn't know. I I played it super low key. No one knows this. Literally, no one knows this. They so, do now. Uh, I they do. <laughs> so I uh, was. You know the uh, the neon garden. If you guys kind of remember that, like. Yeah, it was bit. the the greenhouse. Okay. Yeah, so like the greenhouse, and then I was in that scene. So I was a guy walking under the thing and banging pots and pans and doing that crap, hiding behind doors, jumping out. That was me, dude. You actually and, got me a couple times. Dude, it's so funny. So Adam the Woo came too, right? Uh, and he did his video. And when it first came out, all of these comments were like, oh my gosh, at this point, it was like five minutes or whatever in the video. I can't believe that performer hit Adam the Woo. Ooh. And then I click it and it's me, dude. And I was like, I didn't hit him. I didn't hit him. And so, but because I had this pan, uh, this pan, and I get really close and I smack it really close to his camera. And then, and he jumps back. He's like, whoa, you know, and he it looked like I, you know, hit him or got really close. And Adam Lou like cleared it all up. He's like, did not get hit, blah, blah, blah. But dude, I was getting destroyed. And I was like, these guys are ruthless, dude. Like, I was like, damn. And it was just so funny. Marissa like screenshot it and was like, dude. You're an idiot. And I was like, thanks, Marissa. <laughs> and it was just so funny, dude. And, uh, you know, it, it was just really funny. No, it was it was fun. I had a lot of fun doing that. And um, I was super, super fucking bummed when they got canceled this year uh, oh, yeah. from the Railway Museum because they had a new yeah. – they had a whole new uh, maze planned for this year. And I was very much looking forward to that. So they were going to bring back the yeah. two they did last year and then add a new right. one, which was yeah. – 
in my eyes, uh, one maze closer to opening their own haunt eventually. Um, right. And I remember we talked about that on, on the on when we had them on the podcast earlier in the summer because mm-hmm. we were talking about what they're going to be doing, and it was before right. they got canceled, and we were talking about you know what they're how they're going to prepare for COVID, and they had this amazing, brilliant plan, and yeah. Um, then I got word they got shut down, and I, I was kind of pissed about that because this was like the probably event I was looking forward to the most this season. Oh man! Because um, I had a fun time last year, I really did. We walked through the maze, yeah. I think like three or four times, and we walked through darkness like yeah. twice. We did one lights yeah. on one, and then me and my buddy were like, "It's a little bit dark now. Let's go lights off and let's see how, yeah. how hard this really is." Because we had a light <laughs> to guide us through this fucking maze. Sure, you're like, and yeah. It was just Dude, it's so fun. I almost died in that maze, but it was so yeah. worth it. No, um, they uh Marissa's brothers, dude, they are they are good at what they do. Um they are very good. They they you know, I've been with Marissa for about a year and a half and um I really got to be able to just get close with their family and really just understand like mm-hmm. haunting for them and obviously they were on the podcast so you know, you know all of that as well but like dude, haunting for them is like literally their life. And they, they've been doing this since they've been kids, dude. And it is just so cool to see like how much they just have been so dedicated and, and, and they have an awesome event and it's really cool to hear, uh, like yourself say like how much that event means to them no, yeah, I owe or them, to you. I owe them a lot. It's so man. cool, man. They, they, That's they, so cool. And they're awesome people, dude. They're great. Oh yeah, we, they are. And we went out, uh, mm-hmm. opening weekend of their, of uh, their yard garage display and it was so cool. If you wanted that vintage Halloween, um, yeah. Phil, uh, definitely mm-hmm. suggest to go check it out. And if you guys can't make it, I mean, I did the best I could with the video, but I can tell you this, the video ain't going to do no justice to what you see in real life. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a, it was a good time. But it, that was it, cool. It, yeah, it was, it was just fun. I mean, I got to hang out with them, talk with them mm-hmm. a little bit. And, you know, I talk with Jeremy a lot and, uh, good. Yeah, and Jeremy's I, I funny. keep in contact with them all all year round and I'm, I'm talking to Zach more and uh, good. It, it's just good to, to just to see these guys. I mm-hmm. mean, they, they have a, they have a vision, they have a goal. They want to make a full, like eventually a full big haunt with full on. Yeah. They, they literally want to have their own event. Yeah. And I'm completely on board with that. And one thing I'm hoping it will it ever, happen if it ever comes down yeah. to it, I would love to film a video where I can scare act for a night. Cause that's been a dream of mine. <laughs> that would be so fun. Um, dude, oh, they, they would totally do it, dude. They would have done it this year. They probably would have. T- I'm, always, I'm always it, nervous it, to ask though. I mean, oh, uh, dude, you tell me, <laughs> I, I will literally make it happen. I literally will tell yeah, Marissa straight I, I, I'll up. I'll do it under like, one condition though, Tristan, you gotta be my scare okay. doctor. You gotta be my scare oh, doctor for night. Dude, we will literally own this. Actually, it's okay. This is a good idea. Let's get Marissa, you, and myself, and we all be in one room and we just go to town on everyone. Because <laughs> I easily, I'm the tallest out of all of us. I could be the distraction. Oh, yeah, dude. You focus oh, on dude. me and boom, scares. Dude, Marissa's a good scare actor as well. She's great. She's oh, great yeah, she's very but... talented. And we got to see her uh, oh, perform dude. at the Hayride this past year. So um, I actually had the opportunity, oh, yeah. which I was so happy to do. I wanted to get the back row just so I can mm-hmm. uh, watch her perform and, and see. Really? What she you did. picked yeah. the back row just for her? Wow. You know what? That's My buddy, so cool. he bought the tickets, and I'm like, so I, nice. I made sure to text him. I'm like, what row did you get specifically? We're in the very <laughs> back. Good. That's what I wanted. <laughs> I'll have to tell her that because that, that will make her day, dude. That's really cool, man. Yeah. I mean, That's really cool. I, I really just wanted to I, – I, I knew two people that worked there, and I was like, I, I want to support yeah. both of you. I'm going to try my best to come back just so I can get the back so I can support you this time around. <laughs> yeah, of course. She got Aww, me a couple dude, times. That's so she, cool. she, she was doing – she did a really good job. And, you know, that event, yeah. Hayride, I mean, for what they did within weeks of planning for a last-minute thing, it was – yeah. Very. I had I had a good time both times. I really did. No. Um. So I was I was pretty blessed to be able to go for their um like employee preview. Right. So I was the very first show, and um it was just cool to be able to go and see it before like everyone else, which mm-hmm. that was really awesome as well. But also just to be able to see everything mm-hmm. and realize like with obviously what's going on in the world with the pandemic and all of that stuff it's almost impossible to carry on any event and it's almost impossible to even uh bring halloween to life this haunt season so for the fact that they're able to still sustain their event and still keep it going is like amazing and for what it what they have to work work with 
they did an awesome job, dude. Like they really did, and it was it was funny. It was cool. It, the music was cool. The fog the costumes, everything was really. It, it was I was good. telling Sam, you throw you throw Monster Revolta on anything, and we'll be there. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, he's awesome. He's, he's uh, great. He's funny. Uh, yeah, he's speaking awesome. of uh, keeping the events going on, um, mm-hmm. will you be at HHN Light? And what are you most excited yes. for? Yes. 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 So, good question. Thank you. Uh, so, Marissa and I are going uh, mm-hmm. this coming up weekend. So, we're going to be October twenty third through the twenty sixth. So uh, we'll be in Florida. Fans, you've already you've already went. <laughs> yeah, right. This is coming right. out Halloween week, so you guys already went. So how was the event, Tristan? <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Woo. Okay. Well, there you go. Um. So future Tristan, it's great. It was awesome. <laughs> um. No, but uh. So we're going. We're gonna be there, and uh. We're 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 real excited. So honestly, I'm really. I've. I'm a loser, and I spoiled the tooth fairy because I was too. Because I didn't think I was gonna go. I'll be honest with you. I really didn't think. So I was like, I gotta mm-hmm. see how this looks, right? And then Marissa was like, let's just go. And I was like, okay, cool. And it just worked out, worked. We moved all of our stuff around our schedules and we had just made it work. And so to answer that question, because I spoiled myself on Tooth Fairy, it has to be the, the, the Frankenstein or uh, 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 Brian Frankenstein. You know, part yeah. of me is a little, <laughs> a little, uh, what's the word you could say it, disappointed Not i know disappointed. I'm, uh, I'm looking for the right <laughs> word uh, stingy part of me is a little yeah. stingy that they haven't released a uh bride's walkthrough yet but they've released a really good tooth fairy one oh. and it's like I, you know what so i'm gonna be honest with you and I have I'll not sneak gone. A video and I'll so send it to you. <laughs> this is going to be, uh, and I've only seen a POV walkthrough of it, so I have not experienced it in person. But sure. I wasn't a big fan of how Tooth Fairy came out. Um, sure. and, and I think my biggest thing, and it's it's, it's a stupid small thing. Uh, I, I think the characters did a phenomenal job with what they had available to them. So no disrespect to them because I think it's just it, it's a it, it's a mission just going out there every day to to do that with the pandemic yeah. going on so of course dude. Uh, they did a, a phenomenal job but i think for me and it's it's a very small minor detail i wasn't a fan of the art like that you see okay. in the beginning and throughout the maze i just wasn't a fan of that sure. style kind of art um sure but that's about it i mean i i other than that uh wasn't too bad of a maze but i i want to mm-hmm. i really really want to see a bride's walkthrough so you know so being that you only be there I for a weekend. I will do you a favor. <laughs> I'm going to be there for uh, – I'm going to Universal one day, but uh, I had a conversation with Marissa, and she said she might buy me a ticket because, fun fact, when we went – I took Marissa last year for the first time because uh, that's when we started dating. We first dated, and I was telling her, hyping her up, I'm going to take you to Florida. Yeah, you won't. Yeah, right. I took her to Florida. <laughs> and then I took her, and uh, so – but I bought her a season pass. Oh, nice. Uh, when we went, right? But then the pandemic happened, so uh, she has all these back backdated months because she was the, – the, the park closure. So she was like, well, you bought me a pass. I'll buy you a ticket. So I may be going two days. Now, if I go both days – I promise you, either day, either way, if I go one or two, I will sneak a picture and I will send it to you so you can see it. I just want to see something, man. I'm going to take a picture and it's going to be like a black screen and be like, here you go, buddy. (laughs) (laughs) No, just um, a wall. Yeah. Yeah. Here you go. Like, it's a blurry selfie. It's a blurry selfie. (laughs) I just, all right, it's a picture of my shoes on the floor. Like, oh, I thought I got the photo. My bad. No, no. Or it's going to be me screaming. If you you can try, I just want a picture of the bride. I just okay, want to see what I'll she looks like. I'll try to snatch one. Yeah, well, because we'll obviously be able to go multiple times. And obviously with like uh, – because we went to Universal and Disney World uh, in August, and the crowds were really low. And already October is not a peak season for the parks anyways. Um, it, so it should be pretty mellow. So we'll be able to go multiple times. So once I – see what's going on i will snatch a couple pictures and send them your guys' way for you, sure you gotta jump um, on the hagrid's for me too man oh dude hagrid's is awesome it's so know. much fun. i'm a big dude, dude it's so i don't crazy. even know if i'd fit on it honestly I, you'll I, fit on it dude you will fit on it yeah you'll know, fit man. on it trust I don't even me fit on forbidden journey anymore dude you'll fit on it you have to believe and forbidden journey no offense that, that ride's trash uh, i know i'm gonna be the only person that says that i hate that ride do you, really? you want to know why i hate it because you work i it? get motion sick uh, I, no, I, because I worked there. You no. it? Dude, you know, you, you know what I did in Harry Potter? Speaking of that, um, so I worked the stage, and I was uh, did the Triwizarding Cup mm-hmm. and the uh, Frog Choir. 
Oh man, hearing that show all day. You have memorized? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's little frogs and they're just walking around. I was like, oh my god, no! And uh, yeah, it was it was a good time. I did the best I could with it, but uh, you're like, I need about no. like four spiked butterbeards right now. <laughs> yeah, for real, dude. And but it was it was a great thing, and um, I was able to be speaking of just on since we're on top of Potter. Uh, when it opened, I was part of the opening team. And I got to be uh, the press event. I was working with the press event, and um, it was so cool. I did all, like, the crowd control, and I saw Jason Blum. Uh, that was really cool. I got to talk to a bunch of, like, you know, high-end YouTuber influencers that probably don't even care. They just got free <laughs> tickets, and they're just doing a video. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, uh, you know how that goes. So, Jason but, yeah, Blum, man, so. that's my boy, man. I've met him twice, yeah. you know. So if you ever want to have a dinner, you just let me know. Yeah, hey, that'd be cool. Like I got a I got a Blumhouse idea movie if you mm. care. <laughs> nah, um, I, I hey, yeah I've guy, had the I've had the in. opportunity <laughs> to uh, meet Jason Blum at Horror Nights the first year they did Horrors of Blumhouse. That was fun. yeah. I, uh, That's awesome. Unknowingly uh, was standing somewhere and the entire cast of Happy Death Day walked by me. I was like, oh, th oh okay, they're gone. So. Yep. <laughs> All right. Well, that was cool. I'm just gonna remember that, for the, remember that for the life. rest of my hey. life. I was like, at <laughs> yeah. the time, I only knew one person that was on the show, Shameless, and I'm like. But, I know who you are. I don't know who the rest of you are. <laughs> um, that's awesome. But yeah, I saw him. Yeah. I saw uh, Frank Grillo, and I was like, the only thing that came to mind was not the purge was Crossbones, and I'm like, you are Crossbones in the MCU. <laughs> um, you're it. You're not. You're not purge at all. I don't. Don't ever see you that way. <laughs> <laughs> I know you are Crossbones, dude. I mean, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I love the purge movies you're in, but you're Crossbones. Yeah, that's um, hilarious. That's so funny. Man, I can't believe an hour has gone by that fast. It's already been that fast. Holy crap. All, All right. right. Wow. It has been. I could talk to you for another two, three hours to go. Dude, I could go on and on, but you know, <laughs> whenever you, uh, yeah, dude, you, you do your thing. I'm uh, on your show. You, you, you basically <laughs> crack the whip on me, dude. That's what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> I really can. I can go for another two, four, five hours. Uh, we're going to have to, we'll, we'll schedule something in person pretty soon. Cool. That, yeah, let's do it. That is a must, and I know that uh, we're both on some Call of Duty, and I know Sammy's on Call of Duty, That's so right. we can all do that. Oh, speaking of that, oh well, you know, well, well, I know you gotta do your thing. I'll <laughs> tell you after this because I was playing that beta though. Cold oh, War's pretty fire, dude. It's I gotta, good. I gotta play that. I have to play that, or I can just dude. wait and save it for the next and, uh, consoles. Uh oh. Uh oh. What happened? Look at it. this. Okay, hold on. What happened? Okay, hold on. Wait, am I still here? Frozen screen. You're cutting oh. in and out, but it's okay. Uh, uh. <laughs> Wait. There you go. Wait. You're back. Yeah? You're back. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> All right. That was weird. Oh, no. I was like, oh, God. Uh, <laughs> I know. Right I got I to gotta pick up a copy of uh, Cold War. Uh, Do it. I might be doing it for the next-gen consoles, though. You better. I, I got them pre-ordered. That's right. PS5. Oh, you got which one? PS5? Yeah, ah. I got them both. No, I got them both. Oh, look at you about? freaking flexing on people over here. Like, oh, oh, what's good? <laughs> your boy was like, I need to get them both, so how can I do yeah. this? Oh, Best Buy, you got a credit card. Let me sign up for you. That's, yeah, let's go, baby. Let me yeah, I'll pay you. Debt, but it's okay because, yeah. you know, it's okay, console, so. Yeah, just eat ramen for a few for That's a month. Good. You're good to go. I got some. I got some chorizo con huevos. I got <laughs> uh, sopitas. I got You're good, dude. Cheese. Yeah. I'm good. That's right. Cereals, all you good need. Option. Oh, dude, cereals great. PBJs can't go PBJs. wrong with that. I'm good. Right, let's go. Yeah, on. I'm good. Um, <laughs> Tristan, I really appreciate you coming on the show for the yeah, Halloween. dude. Thank you. Halloween week. It was good to reminisce on the past and, and yeah. talk about the future a little bit. And uh, I'm, I'm I, again. You got my word. You're you're coming to a press event with us, and I got your word. Dude, we're that'd all, be awesome. We're all scare acting for a night, so I can promise you right now. I will tell Marissa, and you will you it will happen. It I gotta. Happen. I, I better start uh, practicing sliding a little bit then, maybe. Huh? <laughs> Dude, we, we should. We just have a little scare meeting and just scare. have a little slide crew. <laughs> that's how. That's how sliding at the Bloodshed Brothers event started. It was the three of us. Oh no! If we just. It'll be fun. It'll be, be fun. It'll be a fun time. Uh, Tristan, you're welcome back on the podcast anytime. Where can people Thanks, find man. you on uh, YouTube and social media if anyone's interested? Well, my freaking YouTube is just uh, Tristan's World, which I barely upload, but you can see <laughs> casual videos. But yeah, check it out. And then uh, my Instagram is just uh, uh, Tristan, H-F-I-M, under, underscore. So you guys check them out right there. Check them out. Hit them up. Tell them Knights of Horror sent you. 
Um, <laughs> Tristan, it's been a, a pleasure talking with you, brother, and uh, I look thanks, forward man. to uh, hanging out pretty soon in the future, man. Absolutely. All right. All well, right. thanks so much for having me on here, guys. Sammy, I feel bad. You haven't talked a lot, so how about you do this outro? Uh, yeah. Well, if you enjoyed this video, why don't you go ahead and click that little like button, and if you really enjoyed it, why don't you subscribe? Because I know you're not subscribed. So do us <laughs> a favor and hit subscribe. And if you really want to interact with us, and I mean like really want to interact with us, hit us up at Twitter at Knights of Horror or on Instagram Ooh. at The Knights of Horror. Ooh. And uh, you know what? Ooh. One more Straight thing. Fire, we man. got some wonderful merch down in the description. Oh my God. Look yourself up. I know that Ooh. it's about to get a little bit cooler out there in the world. And we got some pretty sick sweaters. And they have your name on them. <laughs> dude, I, I want to buy a car from you, Sammy. This is this is great. Dude, that you was sold probably me. that was probably the best outro you've ever done on the channel. You sold me, man. <laughs> oh, I love it. Well, dude, if, if um, you were working for Mercedes, I would buy a Mercedes right now. Right <laughs> have now. Money to do it. <laughs> Stay less. Stay you less. Sold us oh all. man. <laughs> that, ladies and oh, gentlemen, right. well, that is going to be it for the podcast today. We hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this is the Halloween week podcast. We are a couple of days out of Halloween, so I hope you guys, if we, obviously, we'll, we'll, we'll see you with other content. But as far as the podcast goes, we here at the Knights of Horror, and I'm almost exactly certain Tristan as well, wish you guys a happy and safe Halloween. Don't Absolutely. don't forget, just because there's a pandemic going on doesn't mean Halloween's canceled. You can never cancel yes. Halloween. I promise yes. you that. There are ways around it. That's Celebrate right. at home. Play some HHN Ooh. Roblox. I mean, there's oh, Roblox haunts the out there. Wait, I have one more thing. Watch yeah. one of our great walkthroughs because we've got walkthroughs galore. We are like the Roblox like media people this year. We really are. <laughs> <laughs> we've tried to find every single haunt possible Dude, on Roblox awesome. for your enjoyment. If that's you guys so don't feel fun. comfortable going out, Roblox is your alternative to get your haunt fixed this year. That's yes. so fun. We are not sponsored. We just deeply love these haunts. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're a sponsor, I'm doing now. Let me go. If you want to hook us up with some money, um, or some Roblox, yeah, good. Roblox bucks, we'll take yeah, it. I, take them. Uh, we'll take it. <laughs> I'm all for it, man. But, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching the podcast. We love each and every one of you. You guys stay safe out there, and we will see you guys next week.